10 is for 18, then it will take like 64 computations per test case, which would be uh, a number higher. I mean, is there any, any way to optimize this so that the query becomes faster? Previous queries can always be made such that, I mean, since the range is 10 raised power 18, that you can't even use them. I mean, we are given, I mean, this is a very specific example, and uh, the matrix size should be fairly small as well to solve this particular thing. So, I am suggesting one technique, it's like, we yeah, are considering 64 eight numbers, so we t consider the eight eight pairs. Consider them in eight pairs of eight bits. So you calculate all powers for this, all powers of this, all powers of this, all powers of this, and all powers of this. So it's like there will be 256 numbers which you you can make in this. Exactly 256 numbers in this because we are considering 0, 0, 0 in the later half of the bits. 256, 256. So it will be 256 into 8 matrices which you will be computing. Is that clear? We are considering 8 bit. 8 bit is like we can make 256 numbers and we are calculating 8 such groups. So it will be 8 into 256. These many matrix we pre-compute and save it. At any step when we require, when we are finding any any of these queries, what we can do is, one part of it will lie in this, one part in this, one part in this. We can straight away multiply. In 8 multiplication, we can answer each query. So basically if you increase this size, make it 13, then might be it, it's possible to do in 5 steps or something. But then you will have to store more matrices and compute this, do a greater pre-process. So there is a trade-off between what to choose in this problem specific again. Give it this. See, any number represented in 64 bits, okay? So these are the last 8 bits, second last 8 bits and there will be 8 such groups. There will be 256 powers, numbers 0 to 256 in this. And you can make if all the rest bits are 0. If you are assuming this, you will have multiplied 2 raised power 8 with this. Again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you are considering second section of this and rest are all zeros here. So I will give you an example if you are like 512 if you are calculating. So it will have the ninth bit set and rest will be 0. Right. So I am considering that all those numbers whose last 8 bits are zeros and only second section is set and all these 6 sections are also zero. So there will be again 256 numbers only. So I compute the these powers of matrix already, pre-compute it and save it for all these 8, 8, yeah, so 8, eight into 256 multiplications matrices and then for the query you extract the first 8 bits whatever number it's making you directly take that matrix and multiply it thank you